uh, adhuri ya leo ninataka kuendelea na mafundisho ambayo uh, Bwana ametia ndani yangu na mafundisho haya ni ya kututenga unajua jana jioni tukawa na fellowship na nikawa ninaambia watu ya kwamba the inheritors ambao Mungu anaendelea kuachilia ama anaenda kuachilia unto our lives it shall not be an inheritance for you alone sio urithi wako wewe mpendwa pamoja na jamii yako pamoja na watoto wako ama na mke wako na mume wako or even your brothers and sisters it is an inheritance urithi ambao ni wa vizazi na vizazi Mungu wetu haachiliagi vitu vidogo vidogo akamwambia Ibrahimu ya kwamba nitakupatia mwana na nitakufanya baba wa mataifa Bwana asiviwe God talks in terms of great things haleluya greatness sio kitu kitamalizika tu katika kizazi chako wewe na familia yako but it is an inheritance that shall be celebrated by many people by many generations for many years hallelujah na kwa hivyo mafundisho haya ni ya kutuadaa ili tukawe watu ambao tunaweza kuwa na capacity uwezo wa ku hold inheritance ambayo bwana anaachilia na nikasema ya kwamba tulianzia na hatua ya kwanza na hizi hatua wapendwa ningetaka uelewe ya kwamba hatua hizi zinakujenga na ukitoka katika one stage and you go to another stage on another level ni yakoba ni Mungu anakuqualify Bwana asifiwe na kama hauta qualify from the first stage hautaweza kuingia to the next stage na unajua hiyo ni hatari hiyo ni kumaanisha you will not be able to inherit your inheritance whatever God has praise for your life Bwana asifiwe Haleluya. Na nilisema ya kwamba the first stage tuliita Girga na tukaita ya kwamba hapa ndipo mahali pa kutairiwa circumcision. Na tukasema ya kwamba circumcision inafanywa na Roho Mtakatifu akiachiliwa naye Yesu Kristo na inakuwa ya kwamba kuna mambo ambayo lazima yaondolewe ndani yangu yaweze kuteganishwa nami so that I can be builded up and I have the capacity now to go to the next stage to go to the next level ya kuweza kumiliki kile ambacho mwana anataka kuachilia juu ya maisha yangu and I don't want to go back to the first stage of a, a circumcision lakini mpendwa ni vyema ukaachilie roho mtakatifu akakuteganisha unajua even our mindset inafaa kufanyiwa circumcision pastor jana akawa natupatia eh, ushuhuda wa brother moja na huwa anatuambia mara nyingi alipoambiwa walipoambiwa na pastor waombe katika kanisa na yeye akaulizwa unaona nini akasema naona mkokoteni akaambiwa wewe kwenda uombe tena na uombe kitu kina, kinacho maana ama something that is great lakini alipoomba akarudi tena akabia pasta naona sasa ikiwa mikokoteni mbili paka pasta akakasirika akamwambia enda ukapokee hizo kwa sababu mindset yake haikuwa imebadilishwa to hold a great capacity ya kitu kikubwa ninaomba ya kwamba hakuna atakaye zuilia Mungu kuachilia makuu katika maisha yako kuachilia urithi mkuu kwa sababu ya mindset umekataa ibadilike Haleluya. You know there are people ambao wako na mindset hawezi kubadilika, anaonanga tu mambo madogo. Anaonanga something ambao anaweza tu kujitafutia tu. Yes, God anataka tuamini vitu babavyo ye mwenyewe anaweza kutupatia. Bwana atukuse. Today I am going to speak about Bethel. And the Bible says in the book of Second uh, Kings chapter number 2 and from verse number 1 it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by the whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal and Elijah said unto Elisha tarry here I pray you for the Lord has sent me has sent me to Bethel Elisha said unto him as the Lord lives and as your soul lives I will not leave here I will not leave you so they went down to Bethel and the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came from uh, came forth to Elisha and said unto him 
Know you not that the Lord will take away your master uh, from over you today? And he said, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. Bwana atukuswe. Unajua kama utaweza kukualify na kuingia katika kiwago kigine. Kuna watu na kuna mi, sauti. There are voices and there are people that you will have to shut up. Bwana asiviwe. Kwa sababu wakati mungu wa meona umekualify from the stage of circumcision. Na sasa anataka ukaigie mahali tunaita bethel. Abao ni takuerezea maana ya bethel. Bwana asiviwe. Ni yakoba pale utakutana na watu utakutana na masauti utakutana na sauti za kwenu na sauti za watu wenu ambazo zinakwambia kwamba hawezi ukaingia bethel and Elisha alikataa atakusikiliza his father Elijah akasema hapana mimi sikuachi i know what i am following up bwana asifiwe i know what god has 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 Praise before me. I know what I am supposed to get. Na kwa hivyo, wana wa manabi wa kamuambia, unajua, kwa ya domo onagi yo, kuna watu wanaonye shagwa, na waonyeshu imakosa, wanaona kile chakweli, wana asifuwe, na hata wegini watakuja wakwabie, pastor, nimeona ukiwa na kanisa kubwa sana, nimeona ukiwa na mabo makubwa sana, nimeona ukiwa na biyashara kubwa, mwabie na juu wa nyamaza. Unless even your father anakwabia Mwana asibue Hawe gine wabia nyamasa ninajua Hata kama hujui mwabia nyamasa ninajua Hiyo diyo Authority ya kunyamasisha mapepo Mwana asibue Kwa sababu the sons Of the prophets Walikuwa wanataka kumwabia Elisha Ya kwamba wewe Si tunajua hata sisi tumeonyeshwa Ya kwamba your father is about to leave you kwa hivyo wacha, wacha kumfuata fuata. Lakini Elisha haagali kuwachwa na baba yake Elisha. Yeye anaagalia ulivya bao anataka kwenda kupokea. Ah, ninaomba ya kwamba hakuna sauti ya bao itatunyamasisha katika kupokea our inheritance in the name of Jesus Christ. Now Bethel, Bethel, the word Bethel inamanisha nyuba ya mungu, the house of God. It has many meanings. The house of blood. Bwana hasifiwe. Lakini kuna mabu wabao ni nataka tukagalie. Ya na otedeka katika bedhele. And I want us to look to the word of God in the book of Genesis. Chapter number 28 kwa halaka. Kwa sababu ni getaka kumaliza ujube. Kabla ya wiki hii ishe. Na nataka tukagalie hatua ziri ya bazo zimewe kwa katika bibiria. In the book of Genesis 28. Genesis 28 Nataka tuagalie mstari wa kumi pale In first number 10 The Bible says And God went out And Jacob sorry And Jacob went out from Beersheba And went toward Haran And he came upon a certain place And he tarried there all night Because the sun was set And he took all the stones of that place And put them for his pillows And lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it of it reached the heaven. And behold, the angels were ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood. Okay, watch at kwanza tufikisha hapo msali wa kumi na bili. Lakini bibi na seme ya kwamba wakati moja. Yakobo akiwa na mtoroka dugu yake Esau kwa sababu ni kama alikuwa memuibia ulithi wake ni ya kwamba ama usawa wake wa kwanza bibina seme ya kwamba akafika mahali pale akielekea kwa mchoba wake labani na ikawa ni usiku wa kalala mahali pale walaki ni Yakobo hako jua ya kwamba mahali pale palikuwa ni betheri Bwana asifiwe palikuwa ni makao ya Mungu palikuwa ni dwelling ya Mungu palikuwa ni mahali palikuwa na apoto ama an opening unto heaven unto God na bibi nasema yakoba akiwa mahali pale akaota usiku akafunguliwa macho akaona gazi imefi, imetoka binguni imegusa bingu na imefika mahali ako na maraika wa Mungu walikuwa wakipanda wakishuka haleluya glory to God 
nataka ujue in Bethel inakuwaga ni mahali pa an opening yeah? ni mahali ambapo pamefunguka an open heaven eh? na mahali ambapo bigu simefunguka mahali pale kuna kuaga na, 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 na communication kuna kuaga na ku kunenewa na Mungu kuna kuanga habari za bingu ama ujumbe wa Mungu unaweza kupokea vizuri ukiwa mahali panaitwa Bethel Bwana asifiwe and you know Bethel hai haikujagi tu hivyo to have an open heaven it is not just isempendwa haifanyiki tu hivyo unajua kile kilifanya Yakobo akapata an open heaven mahali pale ni kwa sababu babu yake Ibrahimu alikuwa amepitia mahali pale na akiwa katika safari ya, ya kuelekezwa na Mungu kuonyeshwa mahali ya watoto wake mauzao wake wataenda kurithi that is the pressure alikaa mahali pale na aka, akainua madhabahu ya kiungu na kwa hivyo kutoka ma, wakati ule ambao Ibrahimu he lifted an altar unto that pressure it became a bevel bwana asifiwe so bevel ni mahali ambapo kuna an opening unto heaven and when we have an opening unto heaven god speaks in such a praise God can communicate it to you. Na dio mana hata Yakobo did not struggle to see what God was directing him, what God was speaking to him because he was in a special place, a place where there was a notar of God, a place where the, he would have communication with heaven. Bwana asifiwe. So Bethel is a place with an opening. Bwana asifiwe. Na sio just opening, lakini ni opening ya kiungu. Hallelujah. Second, Bethel is also a place of divine altar. Tunaona Yakoba kwa sababu ya yale madhabahu ambayo Ibrahimu alikuwa ameinua mahali pale ya kwamba ina divine altar. Katika madhabahu ambao ni ya kiungu ya Mungu wa kweli, mahali pale kuna kuwa na kuhudumiwa na malaika. Bwana asifiwe. And that's why we see the angels are uh, ascending uh, and descending. Uh. Biblia haijaandika ya kwamba malaika walikuwa wanashuka wakipanda. Biblia inasema walikuwa wanapanda wakishuka. Hiyo kumaanisha ya kwamba angels walikuwa mahali pale tangu Ibrahimu alipoinua yale madhabahu and they were guarding that altar they were in that place ninashukuru bwana kwa sababu mahali hapa na katika madhabahu haya yamefanyika bedheri bwana asifiwe because here god speaks to us sio mambo ya kublag ama kujivuna lakini wale ambao wamezoea mahali hapa na wamezoea upako na neema ya mahali hapa wanajua ya kwamba God usually speak Bwana asifiwe Hallelujah Glory to God Kwa hivyo wapendwa kama utahitimu kupokea urithi wako lazima ukategeneze a bethel a bethel in your life inaweza kuwa ni katika nyumba yako anota ya Mungu imeinuliwa ya kwamba Mungu anaweza akakunenea lazima ujikonnect na mahali ambapo Mungu huwa ananena haleluya otherwise utajuaje mpendwa kile ambacho Mungu anataka kukwabia kama vile tutaona in the next point utawezaje kujua na kujua na kuelewa the instructions of God unless you are in Bethel Bwana asifiwe you know one time a man named Ermeric and uh, the wife Naomi and the two sons waliodoka Bethel kwa sababu Bethel in another word inaitwa Bethlehem Juda waliondoka Bethlehem eh, Bethel wakaenda katika nchi ya Moambi na the bible says ya kwamba kulikuwa na jaa unajua wakati mwingine Mungu katika Betheri huwa anaachilia wakati wa kutesi watu wake Haleluya anaachilia ukame kiasi anaachilia wakati wa jaa kiasi anaachilia wakati mwingine Mungu katika bedheri huwa ananyamaza ili aone watu wake vile watafanya Bwana asifiwe and I want to tell you Ermerica and also Naomi na vijana wake wakaelekea wakaondoka bedheri wakaelekea Moambi and the Bible says wakiwa mahali pale wakapata kuwagamia watoto I mean the, the, the father died and the two sons died wakaku, wakakufa wakaacha tu the, the wife and the mother mother in room Bwana asifiwe kwa sababu ukiondoka bedheri utakosa the focus of God. 
utakosa sauti ya Mungu utakosa the provision hata kama bether inaitwa the house of bread wakati mwingine Mungu huachilia kipindi ambacho hakuna mkate na ndipo unakuta ya kwamba kama you are not builded in the first stage ya kuondoa mambo ambayo yanayubisha imani ya mtu you know in the first stage hapo ndipo roho mtakatifu anatufanyia kazi anaondoa tabia zingine zote za kimwili so that you can build it, you can have capacity ya kuona ya kwamba hata majaribu ya kisha nitaweza kusimama katika imani bwana asivue and so in bethel wakati mwingine mungu ana, ana, anafanya kukose mkate na kukikosa mkate hapo ndipo utajua ya kwamba people did not qualify in the, in the first stage watu hawaku qualify katika girigal hawaku wa circumcised vizuri hapo ndipo watu wanaondoka anasema hiyo kanisa mimi sitarudi kwa sababu huko Mungu ameacha ku, kuongea ha, mpendwa lazima ukakubali Roho Mtakatifu akufanye ukomae katika tabia za kiungu ya kwamba hata wakati Mungu amekosa kuongea wakati Mungu amenyamaza he remains to be God but that does not mean he is not going to speak itafika wakati na Mungu atanena tena Mungu ataachilia direction Mungu ataachilia mkate tena kwa sababu the God of Bethel hawezi kuachilia Bethel lazima ataikubuka tena lazima atakubuka watu wake bwana asifiwe and so the bible says in the book of ruth ukisoma chapter 1 ya kwamba <laughs> ruth alisikia i mean naomi alisikia habari ya kwamba mungu ametembelea betheli tena amekubuka betheli mjuba juba tena juda tena na ame ameachilia mkate tena ameleta chakula ukame umeisha bwana asifiwe haleluya But I just wish kama America na huyu mtu wa mke wake Naomi na hata vijana kama wangekuwa wamekomaa katika the first stage kama nafsi zao zigekuwa circumcised na wangekuwa na the capacity ya kugojea Mungu katika bedheri ha hawagepatana na mauti baba yao hagekuva vijana hawagekuva mama yao hageachwa akiwa akiwa mjane na, wa, na wale we, wa, wa, wake hawageachwa akiwa wajane Bwana asifiwe Glory to God because Bethel is a house of blood. Bethel inakuanga pia ni mahali pa God's dwelling. Ni mahali ambapo Mungu anakaa. Na ni mahali ambapo you know wherever God is dwelling. You know the writer of Psalms 91 akasema You can give us Psalms 91 verse number 1. He that dwell in the secret of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty unasikia vile biblia inasema anayekaa katika kifuri cha Mungu mkuu Mungu mwenyezi hapo atakaa katika kuvunikiwa atakaa katika ulinzi haleluya ninaomba ya kwamba hakuna ambaye ataondoka katika Bethlehem katika Betheri katika mahali pa the God dwelling mahali ambapo Mungu anakaa mahali ambapo Mungu anashuka no wonder the angels had to be there kwa sababu mahali Mungu yuko lazima malaika wa Mungu atakuwa. Bwana asifiwe. They they had to be there. Lazima. Na ndio maana <laughs> if you will have a, a bethel ukiwa na betheli yako mpendwa, iwe ni katika madhabahu kama haya, iwe ni katika nyumbani, hata kwa biashara yako unaweza kutengeneza bethel. Bwana asifiwe. Ya kwamba even angels watakuhudumia ukiwa mahali pale. Bwana asifiwe. Glory to God. And also bethel inakuwaga ni mahali pa ufunuo a place of revelation a place of the secrets of god be released a place of uh, mysteries za mungu sikiachiliwa mahali tumesoma tu katika genesis 28 mstari wa 18 wa 13 the bible says and behold the lord stood above it above the ladder now and said i am the lord god of abraham your father and the god of isaac The land on which you lie to you will I give it and to your descendants and your descendants shall be as the dust of the earth and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south and in, in you and in your descendants shall all the families of the earth be blessed and the place wherever you go And behold <coughs> I am the Lord 
and I will keep you in all the places wherever you go and I will bring you again into this land for I will not leave you until I have done that which I have spoken to you Sikiriza sasa, you just hear those words. You know, in Bethel, it is a place of revelation. Yakombo, hakuwa anajua, yakomba, kire babu yake, aliahidiwa na mungu. Kire abacho, babu yake, aliherezewa na mungu. Many years after Abraham had died, now God reveals, gives a revelation unto Jacob about the inheritance abayo ni yake na vizazi viyao bwana sivue na anamwambia ya kwamba wewe wewe ya kombo mahali umekanyanga mahali umerara usiku wa leo this is your inheritance and your descendants na mahali hapa mimi nitakuwa na wewe na popote utaenda nitakurejesha hapa na vizazi vienu vitakuja kumiriki mahali hapa glory to god the revelation of god is received in bethel Dio mana razima ukaririe Mungu sana na kutegeneza abedhe. Mahali ambapo kuna opening ya Mungu. Mahali ambapo malaika wa Mungu wanakushukia wanakuhudumia. Mahali ambapo kuna revelation. Mahali ambapo umetegeneza ya kwamba it is a dwelling place of God. Hallelujah. And there I don't have time ya kukuelezea lakini unaweza kutegeneza mahali pawe madhabahu ya Mungu ya kwamba Mungu atakuwa akishuka na akikunenea na akikupatia revelation pengine mpendwa kile ambacho kimekuwa kikisumbua maisha yako it is just the lack of revelation hauja hauja pata uvunuo wa kile ambacho umekuwa ukitavuta ama ukipigania ama ukigalimikia bwana asivie but i pray ya kwamba tunapo pata the revelation tunapopata ejia katika bedheri tutapata revelation utapokea neno la kukuinstruct la kukuelekeza la kukushauri kile unavaa kufanya katika bedheri bwana asivue you know it is amazing just yesterday tulikuwa hapa tu na maombi kidogo tu wale about tu, tu, tunakuaga hapa mchana na on tuesdays na tukawa na maombi na mtumishi wa Mungu tu akaachiliwa the prompting of the holy spirit akaachiliwa tu ejia ya roho mtakatifu afanye afanye kitu fulani ili ya kwamba kile tulikuwa tunaombea ma kile tulikuwa tumekuwa tukiombea tu, 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 tuweze kupata breakthrough bwana asivue <laughs> nakwambia hiyo tu inapatikana katika bedheri bwana asivue when you are in bedheri you will receive your word you will receive alema word you will receive your revelation i pray ya kwamba tukiendelea kukaa katika bedheri bila kuvujika moyo bila imani yetu kwenda chini in bethera we shall receive our revelation glory to god what will bring a difference between you and others is revelation and pastor amekuwa akituambia all the time yakoba sasa tuliondoka mahali pa pa, pa ukweli tu ukweli yakoba mungu alikuwa anatenda mungu alikuwa anafanya haya na ni kweli tu mungu alikuwa anafanya hivyo but we have entered into a place of revelation haleluya a place where you will get a revelation ambayo itakupeleka na kuigwigisa katika mahali ambapo unastahili una kuwa glory to god haleluya You know in Bethel it is a place where God spells out your inheritance. Hapo ndipo Mungu huwa anakuelezea urithi wako ni nini. Hapo ndipo Mungu atakuelezea kipawa chako ni nini wewe. Hapo Bethel ndipo Mungu atakwambia ya kwamba wewe na uzao wako na vizazi na vizazi nimekuaminia ijia. Kwa hivyo fuata ijia. You get a direction in Bethel. Bwana asifiwe. Si Mungu tu atusaidie katika Bethel ya kwamba tunapokaa katika Bethel tutaweza kupokea ufunuo tutaweza kuwa na mahali ambapo Mungu anaweza shuka na kutusugumuzia i have no time to read in the book of second chronicles chapter number 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 7 lakini ukienda nyumbani unaweza soma second chronicles 7 kuanzia mahali ya mstari wa 12 pale na utasikia vile Sulaimani alishukiwa na Mungu alipoinua madhabahu alipotengenezea Mungu mahali na kukawa na opening na Mungu akashuka akamwambia ya kwamba hata kama nitasifunga bingu kwa sababu watu wamenikosea lakini wakija mahali hapa wakija katika nyumba hii wakija katika mahali hapa ambapo ni bebe 
Kibera wakiniomba wakitubu dhambi zao nitawasikia nami nitaondoa bingu siacha kuwa gumu nitaachilia mvua nitaweza kuamrisha hata ardhi iweze kuachilia mazao all that happens in Bethel bwana asifiwe Bethel ndipo mahali ambapo rehema za Mungu zinashuka haleluya Bethelo dipo mahali ambapo utashika mwelekeo wa kile ambacho unaweza kufanya juu ya kile kinakutatisa mpendo. Wacha tusimame. Naona wakati umeisha katika jina la Yesu Kristo. But I would ask you just to, to take one minute. Uwapie Bwana, nisaidie kuelewa na kutegeneza eh hey, habitationa ambayo Bwana itakuwa ni makao yako, itakuwa ni mahali pako pa kushuka katika jina la Yesu Kristo ili ukaweze kunisaidia in the mighty name of Jesus Christ even as I will come our father aweze kutumalizia katika jina la Yesu Kristo eh hey, endelea kuliria bwana mwambie bwana na omba ya kwamba ukaweze kunisaidia in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that I will make a praise a bevel where you can come down and minister to me in the name of Jesus oh shata kasola baganda fuwa tukinde chako Mbie Bwana ninakutamani natamani kupatana na wewe this place at Bethel I know tumekuwa tukinenewa mambo mingi na Mungu na hakuna kitu kizuri kama wakati uko katika Betheli yako sababu hata wakati shetani anapanga mambo kinyume lazima Mungu atayafunua si mwambie Bwana ninatamani kutengeneza Betheli ili ukaweze kuninenea ukaweze kunionyesha jia that you may give me even the promptings of the spirit uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, in the mighty name of Jesus urasha la 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 maganda ribabushi uribushi tiriririburi na yu hakuna usilo kweza much power of God in this place we may continue until three and I want us to give shakaraboshi prepare your offering wale about to naitaji kupewa pasha just take your hand drop let us give let us give najua kuna watu muko katikati ya giza diyo lakini hapo kuna muangaza wa mungu namwangaza I can tell you for a fact there is light shelebeketa mm. borina soki yes wale ambao mnapeana kupitia wa paybill number iko hapo yule ambao ungehitaji account number account number iko hapo we need money and a lot of it bless be the name of the lord and as you give 
sacrificially may the Lord see you through in Jesus name in Jesus name let us give our offerings I am the Lord you hear I am Thank you. 